tonight, saying he believes the intended target of that deadly shooting this week was a Jewish school and synagogue with children inside. The two gunmen in Tuesday's attack are believed to have uh, turned to an attached kosher grocery store instead because police were so quick to engage them. Investigators say the gunmen were driven by anti-Semitism and anti-police sentiments. The shooting is being treated as an act of domestic terrorism. Well, joining us tonight, Steve Rogers, Trump 2020 advisory board member, former Navy lieutenant commander, uh, former FBI Joint Terrorism Task Force member. Steve, good to have you with us. And let, let's start with first uh, this uh, terrible shooting uh, designated uh, now as anti-Semitism, an anti-police motivated shooting. Why does it take so long to get to the statement, it's a terrorist act, when we knew on its face that that's what it was. Well, you're right, though, Lou. They should have come out immediately with the ammunition, with the weapons, with the knowledge that they gained pretty quickly into the investigation. They should have come right out and tell it like it is. It was a terrorist attack. In this case, a terrorist attack against the Jewish community. And the president signing uh, the executive action, uh, absolutely uh, combating anti-Semitism, at least on college campuses around the country where it has become a, a huge problem. Uh, your, your thoughts? Well, the signing of the executive order that the president uh, uh, just did, Lou, not only did it direct uh, uh, c college campuses to address it, but it heightened awareness of how serious this problem is. And I could tell you this, that back in the 90s, when I was on the anti-bias uh, task force in New Jersey, we did use policing methodologies that reduced uh, acts against uh, anti-Semitic uh, acts against Jewish communities, the hatred for police that was rising, and it all boils down to interaction, the community and the police. Community policing was a big, big preventive measure back then to address these problems. And I know the Trump administration's talking along those lines because the president has... And a, taking action. Yeah, and taking action. He has a great, great relationship with the uh, law enforcement across this country, as well as with the people who live in all of these communities that can be targeted. So my suggestion has been... It continues to be you get law enforcement, you get your government and get your spiritual leaders involved, the priests, the ministers, the rabbis. They all come together to address these hate crime problems. Well, and then we have the, the, the case of Pensacola Naval Air Station where a Saudi uh, student pilot uh, uh, killing uh, three people, uh, an act of terrorism. And as I listen for the Department of Defense Secretary to say this was outright terrorism, because again, on its face, it was exactly that. We find out that indeed other Saudis were uh, videotaping uh, as this uh, student pilot was killing people. And, and there was such reticence to say it's terrorism. It makes no sense. Ooh, they it, have they have to stop being politically correct. My goodness. Tell it like it is. Look, I've been in the Navy 25 years, never heard or seen anything or would expect anything like this on a military base. With regard to what happened in Jersey City, I, I, I say this quite often. You check the backgrounds of these people who commit these acts. They were arrested before. They have a rap sheet. We need the courts to get tough and to sentence these people for a long time in prison. And and what happened to vetting? Why are we training so many Saudi pilots? First of all, it's the first question. Secondly, they've been grounded. But why in the world is there not a, an active and, and uh, public uh, investigation and a cessation of all, all military sales to Saudi Arabia? I mean, we're talking about building nuclear reactors in Saudi Arabia. Uh, the, I don't, the, you know. Lou, these guys it, had it, access it, to weapons. They had access to jets. But I think the bottom line is we've got a lot to uh, a lot of people to be held accountable for not doing their jobs the right way. And uh, I do not want the next stage of uh, this uh, this crime, these hate crimes, whether it's uh, uh, Saudis against us, whether it is uh, whomever against uh, Jews in this country. It is. It, it's unacceptable. Look, we have a commander in chief now on top of this. Thank God for that from the White House. And that's resonating right down to Main Street, USA. All right. Well, I hope you're right. Unfortunately, it seems to be persisting. And uh, let's hope not worsening. Steve Rogers, great to talk with Thank you. you. Thanks so much. Thank you. The CEO of a business lobbying group.